Good evening guys, welcome to Life of Palos. Happy to have you here. Now some of you guys that have watched my channel for a number of years remember that back in November of 2019, yes, it was that long ago, we did a video a uh, pretty late at night, if I remember correctly, detailing an FBI raid on the relatively small channel at the time, Omi and a Hellcat. This, in a way, was the kind of video that actually launched Omi and a Hellcat's YouTube career to a much higher level, if you can believe it. And what's interesting is at the time, we even had a pinned comment from Omi and a Hellcat saying, I did nothing wrong and I'll be back on top. I spent three days crying and I feel like I'm going to prevail. And importantly, I'm a great person and I'll be back on top. Thank you. Now, over the last two or so years, we've seen Omi and a Hellcat get a lot back uh, during this sort of initial FBI raid. We've seen him continue to make YouTube content and talk about some of his new businesses like the shoes that we mentioned a couple weeks ago. But all of that progress uh, for now seems to have come to a halt as of this morning. Omina Hellcat's assistant took to Instagram Live this morning to detail a second FBI raid at Omi's residence. Now we're gonna show you the video clips here in a second, uh, but the video presumably ends with Omi being put in the back of some sort of car. It appears that he is cuffed to a certain degree uh, and presumably arrested. Now we can't say that for certain. There's not enough information out there right now. Uh, we are just guessing based on the information that we have available. Now the live stream video is all over the internet at this particular point, uh, dozens of places sharing the same video. So we're gonna show you some of the bigger parts of that clip right now. What is going on? I said no already, and I, I've asked for an arrest warrant. You guys aren't giving us any reason. Annette, would you mind helping her get, get dressed so we can talk to her about can you explain what's going on? Yeah. We'll get the rest I want to know what's going on. I don't want to speak to anybody right now. I want to put on my pants and, like. Do you want to get dressed? What are you guys looking for? You guys got to fix one or something? Okay. You guys got to fix You have a lawyer right now. I'm not going to ask you any questions about this. You have a right to have a lawyer with you during questioning. Yep. If you cannot afford one, one will be for you before questioning if you wish. You could decide to answer any questions now. Without a lawyer, you have a right to stop answering at any time. Right. That's silly. You know I can afford a lawyer. Just need to advise you what your rights are, sir. Thank you. Okay, there's no way. Right, take that. What about a one horse you got? <laughs> And you guys saw some of the chaos that occurred right now. Uh, what's really interesting about what happened, guys, is just about two months ago, Omina Hellcat put up a video called The FBI is Back and detailed that there was an indictment on the way, as far as we can remember, and that there was a good chance that he might be going to prison. Now, we reached out to Omina Hellcat directly. We've actually chatted before the past couple of years. Obviously, no response yet. I would imagine he's dealing with some of the stuff that happened this morning. Uh, but his account is live right now. Uh, one of the more important posts going up on his story saying, Omi just got locked up by feds. He will be home soon. And then afterwards, sharing a number of free Omi uh, pictures from other accounts across the Instagram. Now, in a nutshell, guys, if you don't know, Omina Hellcat uh, ran a company that streamed live television from my limited understanding. Uh, and he maintains that nothing that he did was illegal. Like streaming movies would be illegal, hosting them on your site would be illegal, but he maintains that streaming live television is definitely not illegal. The minutia of those particular laws is a little bit beyond my understanding. I don't want to talk about it unless I really have a good handle on it. It's been two years since I've looked into it and talked to Omi about it. So we're not going to talk about it anymore today, but I wanted to let you guys know what was happening because it is literally all over the place right now. Uh, hundreds of people sending me some of the live stream clips from earlier this morning. We'll make sure to keep you guys updated with what's going on. I'm sure there will be big updates very soon, uh, but very, very chaotic stuff this morning. Uh, and if you guys all have noticed, uh, Omi really hasn't been posting that much on YouTube over the last couple months. I think we've gotten only three videos in a two month span. So not a lot to report on uh, sort of out of the norm. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, kind of a big first story there, but we had to cover it first because it is definitely the biggest news item of the day. Next up, guys, I got a crazy story for you. I don't know what it means, but we're talking about it. So we can throw your tinfoil hats on for the moment. Let's discuss. So obviously, guys, Stradman has been doing a lot in New York City. And what's very interesting is there are a couple of very peculiar photos that he uploaded to his story account that have a lot of people talking. 
All right, so we're gonna discuss the stories a little bit out of order. So we have this particular picture here, taking a Lamborghini Paramus, saying Lambo Day Baby, showing Stradman, another individual, standing in front of a couple of Lamborghinis, one of which is the Lamborghini Huracan STO. And then a second picture went up on Stradman's Instagram account uh, that just says, um, well, and shows him in the driver's seat of what I think is the STO. Who really knows what that means? It seems like Stradman buys a brand new supercar every single month, and obviously he's gonna be buying a Ferrari soon, but it doesn't mean he couldn't buy a Huracan STO just sort of while he's waiting. No doubt though, the next couple vlogs from Stradman are going to be epic. Uh, there are so many crazy stories that he's shared over the last couple of days. Get ready for an absolute banger from him. Moving right along guys, next up is actually a video from another member of the Utah crew. It's Burlacker, most expensive car I ever bought, full tour and price. Obviously guys, Burlacker uh, puts up fantastic videos, one of the most well-liked guys in the automotive community and just bought a brand new car. If you've not yet seen what that is, make sure to get over to his channel, wish him a sort of a belated congratulations and check out his latest video, which is a lot of fun. I think you guys will really enjoy it. I'll link for that video in the description below as always. Next up guys, I wanna make sure I talk about Doug Miro's latest video uh, because it concerns a car that a lot of you guys really like. It's called the 2022 Subaru BRZ is way better than the original. Uh, if you want to see a great breakdown, Doug DeMiro does it like almost no one else does in the business with all the quirks and features that you've come to expect from his channel. Uh, and let me know what you guys think about the brand new BRZ. Uh, do you like it significantly more than the older one? I want to know about it in the comments below. And do you know of anyone that's doing a really good new BRZ build right now. I'd love to be able to follow their channel and learn more about what this car is capable of. Next up guys, a follow up to one of the craziest builds currently happening anywhere on Automotive YouTube by Hoonigan. It's called Making Our 1000 Horsepower Halo Warthog Off-Road Ready. One of one hand built metal warthog body and huge brakes. If you're a video game fan like me, or if you just like insane uh, one-off insanity builds, Hoonigan really has you covered here. I love the way they're presenting the information within these videos, guys, with commentary on top of what they're doing. It's really unique and I just, I really enjoy it. So go check it out, guys. If you're a Halo fan or you just like crazy stuff, you're gonna love this particular video series. They're right in the midst of it. Next up, guys, uh, we gotta talk about Shmi's latest video because he's one of the only people that we follow on a regular basis that is getting uh, a Ferrari SF90 Stradale, one of the most insane cars I've ever driven, hands down. The video is called, This Is My Full Spec for My Ferrari SF90 Stradale. Um, obviously, guys, Shmi has one of the craziest automotive collections really anywhere uh, publicly known. And a lot of it just came from his hard work on his YouTube channel over the years. Uh, a true success story. Obviously, he did some stuff before that, but very, very cool stuff going on on Shmi's channel right now, guys. Let me know what you think about his spec, and uh, let me know where the SF90 would rank among his other cars in terms of what you like the most. Uh, you get the Senna, you get the Ford GT, all the Black Series cars, a lot to love in Shmi's garage, and the SF90 is sort of the cherry on top of everything. A video that I wasn't sure if I had read the title correctly by Donut Media has a lot of people talking. It's called How China Made a $900 Car. Uh, when I saw that, I wasn't sure if it was real or not. Not, but the video sort of takes good care to explain exactly what they're talking about. I think you'll like the video, guys. Uh, Donut Media has had a, a flurry of fantastic videos over the last couple of days. Uh, I think yesterday they had a video out on the SSC Tuatara and all the controversy surrounding it. Did a bang up job on that. And now this video is just one of the quirkier parts of the automotive world. Uh, definitely something fun to listen to if you want to learn more about uh, China's car. Make sure to check it out, guys. Two more left today, guys. One from Supergar Blondie. Uh, I'm making sure to mention it, not because it has anything to do with cars, but because it's a, a big automotive channel branching out into something different. So the video is called Dubai's Most Luxurious Hotel Room, Atlantis. And it kind of reminds me of, of when Doug Dumiro reviewed the most expensive hotel room in Las Vegas. Lots of people enjoyed it. And I wanna see if you guys like Supercar Blondie's take on this particular video as well. It's very, very different, so know that going in. But make sure to check it out, guys. Fun video. And last, but certainly not least today, guys, Royalty Rebuild, a secondary channel taken over by Royalty Exotics. is a brand new video out that a lot of you guys who enjoy hypercars or Bugattis are really going to appreciate. 
It's called Servicing and Modifying a Bugatti Veyron. Uh, just a wild video if you sort of have any idea of the gravity of what that statement is. I think you guys will really appreciate it. Uh, lots of great Bugatti content on both the main Royalty Exotics channel and the Royalty Rebuilds channel as well. Make sure not to miss it. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you have a great rest of your evening. Uh, we will hit you with updates about Omi and a Hellcat situation with the FBI uh, whenever we get them. We waited on the story a little bit this morning. Uh, because uh, at the time when we got the initial live stream footage, we really didn't have anything more to go off of, and we wanted to see a little bit more information come out before we talked about it. That's why we waited uh, sort of so long. So a lot of people put up the footage right away. We like to wait and make sure that we have the absolute best information possible before we jump on something. Anyway, that's kind of the skinny on that, guys. Uh, make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy out there, and we'll catch you soon. Take care, and bye.